Hi, good morning, everyone. Today's Educational Management Online Video Blog 10, I'm going to talk about the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. The Code of Ethics is like a Bible for educators to live by in order to have high moral values, good reputation, dignity, and legacy as an individual member of community or society, a country, and of the world. Based on the Code of Ethics, teachers have roles to perform as mandated by the Kagawaran ng Edukasyon. As stated in the preamble, all teachers or educators must adhere with deep commitment and passion in obeying the values, principles, and values mandated in the Code of Ethics for professional teachers. Just like what I have written from my previous reflections, all teachers, educators, school leaders, managers must always remember that we are being read and watched by all people we meet with, talk to, mingle, and deal with. Therefore, it is so vital that we act and talk with utmost care. We must practice a high ethical standard at all times. Since we are viewed and regarded as an exemplary role model in the society, we must set a good example for all to imitate. Additionally, we must also be law-abiding citizens and enforcers of law and policies. Article 2, Section 3 states that every teacher shall be morally, mentally, and physically fit. In this case, it is also important for us to look after ourselves physically, mentally, and emotionally. Our emotional well-being affects the way we teach, so it is necessary that we are not just morally, mentally, and physically fit, but also be emotionally fit so we could carry out our roles effectively. Furthermore, the state should also provide or give proper care to every teacher by giving the well-deserved incentives to motivate teachers to work with all their heart. Even though the code of ethics is limited to the Philippines, as a Filipino working abroad, I still adhere to following the code of ethics wholeheartedly. It is all the more that we should be seriously taking heed of carrying out our responsibilities as teachers and religiously practicing the code of ethics wherever we are, because we are the embodiment of our nation. We represent our nation. Our conduct outside our country matters a lot. Our country receives glory when we do our best and receive exemplary recognition. On the other hand, our country and fellow citizens are affected if we do not act accordingly with the utmost ethical behavior. Therefore, we should behave with dignity at all costs and at all times. Conversely, as a member of the state, we are given freedoms and con constitutional rights. However, we should not abuse our freedom or use it to hurt or abuse other people for our advantage. Now, moving on. Article 3 mandates our roles as members of the community. We should be proactively facilitating learning by providing a safe and conducive learning environment for students to enjoy learning. As members of the community, we should also be actively participating in community events, making sure to promote our customs, cultures, and traditions to let other members of the community appreciate the beauty of our national heritage. Additionally, we should be working closely with the community, government officials, and other professionals to solve issues that concern the well-being of students and other members of the community. Articles 4, 5, 6, and 7 state our roles as teachers by profession, our collaborative culture with other teachers, school officials, and other staff. Professionally, we should promote confidentiality, academic integrity, and submission to higher authorities. There should be mutual respect between and among teachers or staff and supervisors. There should be a good collaboration and communication for a harmonious working relationship at all times. How does the teacher roles in the Magna Carta for teachers significant in today's educational setting? To be honest, the code of ethics for professional teachers is undoubtedly similar to the Ten Commandments. Why did I say that? Well, the Ten Commandments are 
ways to live a holy living while the mandates on the code of ethics are ways to live a righteous, pious, conscientious, and exemplar role model professional teacher to your fellow teachers, educators, leaders, students, parents, and other, all other stakeholders. The code of ethics is very important to everyone wherever they are. It should be ingrained to every teacher's educator's mind in order to be morally upright and be a light to all stakeholders. In conclusion, being a teacher is not just a profession, but is also considered as a mission or calling for some. For me, being a teacher is a gift that God has endowed me. It is undeniably hard to teach students with diverse learning needs, backgrounds, and personalities. Having patience, good character, strong education background or pedagogy, and insightful experiences are not enough to teach students successfully and effectively. We need enthusiasm and wisdom in order to teach students of the 21st century. Wisdom comes from God. So we need God to direct and guide us when we teach or lead. Added to that, it takes massive guidance from God to consistently do all the mandated roles in the code of ethics for professional teachers. Lastly, we should not limit our professional development. We should be a lifelong learners and be open to continuous learning. Most importantly, we should take good care of our physical, mental, and emotional health. It is worth nothing if we gain a prestigious teaching award yet forsake our self or health. We should be balanced in everything, self, family, career, and profession. Thanks for listening and watching. Have a nice day.